Chinese car market is the largest in the world. Uh, in terms of EV market, the uh, Chinese market is even, even bigger globally. It's like 40% of the global EV market is in China. The growth rate of EV in China is, is, is very fast. If you go back, uh, you know, uh, five years, the market was purely driven by government government subsidies. At that time, the, the market really grew very, very slowly. Once the government removed the subsidies, uh, the sales basically for many companies go to zero. For the EV uh, electric vehicles, a, a major component of the cost is the, is the battery. Okay? And uh, for the lithium ion battery, uh, in the last uh, a few years, it experienced something similar to the Moore's law. Okay? In the Moore's law, it basically says that the cost of the, the, the chips actually goes down like 30% a year. In the EV, it's something like 18%, 18% per year, right? So uh, as you expand the production, as the technology improves, uh, the cost of the battery goes down. That has a dramatic effect on in people's perception of the electric cars. Currently, only if you have like buy a high performance EV, you still get some subsidy. And also the subsidy is getting smaller and smaller. So. I definitely see this trend that uh, within, within a few years, maybe two or three years, uh, the, the subsidies will be basically gone. Even without the government subsidy, uh, the, the EVs are very competitive with the gasoline cars. On one hand, the cost is coming down. On the other hand, EV offers people a very unique kind of new experience. Fast acceleration, uh, no, uh, no exhaust, and also uh, very quiet. So the market finally recognized, I think last year, EV is totally viable, even w without government subsidy. We're seeing a, a revolution uh, in, in the automobile industry.